Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making my grandma's recipe for barbacoa roja. So if you want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need 10 New Mexico Oaxico chili pots, five chili puya, one chili morita, half of an onion, six garlic cloves, two tablespoons of white vinegar, two bay leaves, two pounds and a half of country style ribs, three pounds of short ribs, and two pounds of chuck tender roast. 12 ounces of Mexican beer, six cold cloves, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of ground cumin, chicken bouillon, salt, and black pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to begin by cleaning our chili pots. Now since we're going to be frying them, we don't want them to be wet, so we're just going to remove the stem along with the seeds and we're going to clean them using a damp paper towel. Okay, and just like that, we have our clean chile. So now we're just going to repeat to the rest of our chile pots. All right, so once we have our chiles all nice and clean, we're going to set them to the side and get our meat ready. Okay, so I'm just going to be patting my meat dry. Okay, so once we have it all dry, now we're going to sprinkle it with salt and black pepper. So I'm just going to be mixing my salt and black pepper together. And just like that, we can sprinkle it all over our meat. And make sure that you coat both sides. Okay, and once we have our meat all nice and coated with our salt and black pepper, now we are ready to begin cooking. Okay, to our Dutch oven, we're going to be adding a little bit of oil or lard. We're going to set it on high heat and allow it to heat up. Okay, and once nice and hot, we're going to begin to sear our meat for three minutes per side. And we're just going to be doing this step in batches. This is literally the hardest part. Okay, after three minutes, we're going to flip our meat over and allow that side to sear for another three minutes. Okay, another three minutes, we're going to remove our meat. And just add a little bit more lard and now we're just going to repeat the same process okay so once we have seared all of our meat we're going to add a little bit more lard and we're going to begin to fry our onion so just break it apart we're going to give it a couple minutes after a couple minutes we're going to add a garlic clove just give it about a minute yeah, at this point we're going to reduce our heat to medium setting. Okay, and after the minute we're going to begin to add our chili pots. This is going to be fast, so give it about 30 seconds. You don't want your chili pots to burn, so just make sure that you're moving them around. Okay. Now to that we're going to add two cups of water. Just make sure that you're moving it all around. We're going to give it a minute and then we're going to transfer it to our blender cup. Okay, so after the minute, we're going to turn it off and now we're going to preheat our oven to 275 degrees. Okay, now carefully, we're going to transfer all of our mixture into our blender cup. Along with the water. Okay, so now we can get ready to blend. To a butter cup, we're going to add another cup of water, our white vinegar, and all of our spices. So now we're just going to be blending into smooth. All right, so once we have our sauce, now we can put it all together. We're going to return our sauce to our pot. And to that, we're going to add our beer. Okay, so just allow it to come to a full simmer. Alrighty, and once it comes to a full simmer, taste it for salt and adjust it if needed. For me, it is perfect. So now we're just going to return our meat. So please your meat into the sauce. Make sure that you add all of these juices. Okay. 
And just make sure that the meat gets fully coated with the sauce. Okay. Now we're just going to add our bay leaves. We're going to cover it and place it in our oven. Okay, so be very careful. Okay, and we're going to leave it in there for three to four hours. Alrighty guys, so our meat has been cooking for three hours and a half. It's almost done. So while we wait, we're going to make a fast and easy salsa taquera. Okay, to our pan, we're going to cover it with a little oil. We're going to set it on medium heat. And to that, we're going to add three tomatoes, cut them in half and face them down. And we're just going to allow them to soften. Okay, after a minute, we're going to flip them over. And just give it another minute. Okay, and after the minute, our tomatoes should be done. So we're going to transfer them to our blender cup. Okay, now we're going to be frying a small piece of onion and two garlic cloves. So just allow them, allow them to soften. Okay, and after a minute, our onion and garlic cloves are done. So we're going to transfer with the tomatoes. And at this point, we're going to turn it off and fry chile de arbol. Of course, depending on how spicy you want your salsa, then it depends on how many chiles de arbol you're going to need. I'm using 15. So just allow them to get nice and fried just for about 30 seconds. Once you begin to smell the chile, then they are done. Okay, transfer. Okay, so now we can get ready to blend. And of course, we're going to add a pinch of oregano to our salsa, along with salt. Okay, so now we can blend into smooth. And just like that, we have our salsa. And now we're just going to transfer to a bowl. And taste it for salt and adjust it if needed. Okay, and after four hours, we have our delicious barbacoa. So of course, we're going to open it. And of course, you wanna check it. Make sure that it's done, as you can see. So nice and tender. Look at that. Now we can get ready to make our tacos. Of course, before we make our tacos, I just like to shred my meat. And you shouldn't struggle at all. Alrighty, and once we have our meat, now we can get ready for the fun part. Okay. And I already heat up my tortillas using some of the oil from the meat. I'm going to squeeze a little lime juice. A little onion. Cilantro. And of course, our delicious salsa. And just like that, we can get ready to enjoy our delicious tacos de barbacoa. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I am so ready. I love tacos, and of course these tacos are special, you know, it reminds me of my grandma. With just a few ingredients, you have some delicious barbacoa, and the ingredients, you know, they already have, you already have them in your pantry, so I hope you give them a try and enjoy them just as much. These tacos are, you know, different from all my other, my other tacos. They're unique in their very special way. So I hope you give them a try and enjoy them just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. Ooh. That was delicious. Mm-hmm. All the flavor, the salsa, so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
These are honestly over the top. So good. Mmm. Alrighty guys, and then you have it how to make a super easy and delicious barbacoa roja. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.